Right, I just thought we'd do a quick video on uh, this little IC2730. Um, you don't see too many of these. Um, they were a great little model that Icon put out, and um, as you can see, they... Um, sorry, I got the right button there. They sort of went everywhere, and um, you could pretty much... Um, well, they receive everywhere, as you can see. <laughs> I won't say where they transmit. You have to look, look that up, but uh, they certainly have some interesting transmit range too. But uh, when... Uh, standard, of course, they do 270 centimeters, but um, uh, but yeah, it looked nice, um, nice setup. Just uh, bring it back to 440. Actually, where were we on the monitor? Let's have a look. Uh, 440 megs. So I'm going to put it there. And as you can see on UHF, these things actually they do a bit of power. Nearly 50 watts there. Uh, quite easily on. Um, it might be better to show you that. I'm on the ICR. Uh, sorry, the uh, what am I on? The R2600B at the moment, and. Um, Brilliant power there. Obviously, dual band, so uh, both sides there you can you can keep both open. I'm just doing this for the ease of running around. Uh, this one's been programmed for a lot of different repeaters around the place. Um, let's put it on. I don't know, 145, 145, 0.5. That'll do. So I suppose we need to put frequency in this thing, don't we? A uh, little bit complex over here. Then you've got to actually come back over. And you've got to put in 145, one, two, did I say 0.5? I did two, back, 0.5. I did that for a reason, because then the offset is not um, considered an issue. So, same thing, let's have a look at our test on display here. Power output on 145.5, about the same, nearly just under 50 watts there. Not bad at all. And um, one, two, one, two, sorry. I've got, I have got split on there. Oh, that's clever. I'm uh, not going to hear much there. One, two, one, two, one, two. How's the deviation? One, two, three, four, five. Lots of deviation. Yeah, no, that's good. Yep. Four to five kilohertz deviation. So, um, nice, uh, nice little radio. Good for the mobile or the base, really, because, you know, you had this microphone that had so much that you could just do. You could change very much the same mic they used on the, um, Oh, look, the IC2800s, uh, HS, which were very popular, um, and, you know, with the colour screen, of course, and a number of the other ICOM radios that um, they use these with. But, um, and of course, you had a number of scan features, etc., that these were nice for. Um, the fact that you could isolate your two bands from one side to the other, whoops, uh, is, uh, is quite neat. Um, so basically, I can transmit over there, which mutes at that, uh, during transmit, mutes the other side, or, bang, transmit back on. 145.5 so yeah look nice little unit um the power output obviously you can set that to low now low power what did they go down to on these things maybe let's just turn that volume down we don't really need that so down to about five watts um in low power and i would assume that was the same on uh, uh uhf as well um dtmf function uh menu is actually oh, sorry because they're meant to be meant to be mounted in cars, etc. Now that light function, I was actually having a play. You can you can vary that um, that light quite uh, quite a bit. A lot of different menu functions in here for your scans, set up for your weather alerts, blah blah blah. Uh, yes, um, offset tone. So you can obviously set up a um, defined offset for um, various repeaters. So a lot of repeaters these days aren't. Uh, they're not all just. Um, standard 5 meg offset uh, some of them uh, quite strange offsets these days and um, that's okay because you can do that you can also set up your um, um, your tone etc receive tone uh, etc a um, lot of functions here that you won't use oh that's just your skip etc but look pretty pretty easy to sort of jump in and out of and um, yeah nice nice little radio I think the fact that you know you can just pop this little remote head anywhere put this base unit you know somewhere under the seat or back in the boot um, it's a really long cable it's probably four or five meters I'd say uh, so um, I've got a mate in um, South Australia just looking at this at the moment so I can't say whether it's available or not but we'll see because it may not be for him he's looking more for something for his shed this sort of <laughs> I was actually out looking for a little Chinese unit that might do him for that and um, I've sort of gone a bit high end with this one but um, still this is a good chance for him to have a look at this and just what they do um, who knows what he's got in his car? He might pull it out, put that in the shed, and put this in the car. <laughs> anyway, we'll we'll get onto you know like everybody if um, this becomes available. It's nice that it's got you know all its bracket screws, bracket bits and pieces. You know often 
you run around trying to chase up you know bits everywhere and you know they're just um, they're just often not um, not available easily and um, so just gonna have a look here is it I think it's hold that button yes um, no no I did muck up then I thought it was hold that to get our scanners then there right so now I'm just on a program scan um, if I go to memory recall and then I go no I muck that up oh no I need to read the book or something <laughs> oh there you go I got it to work okay so just scanning through um, the VK3 repeaters there and oh, yeah so the idea is that you know in your mobile you can just keep it tracking all around the place and have a bit of a look see what's um, let's see what's actually programmed in this um, yeah mainly all um, repeaters from all around uh, Melbourne it looks like um, you Melbourne guys would know um, some of the oh actually r &E's up here isn't it some of them are up this way okay uh, fair enough <laughs> it's okay um, and same sort of stuff going on here quite a bit programmed in there and this uh, this would be the difference for some VHF some UHF etc etc anyway just thought I'd let you have a quick look at one of these um, great little unit for what they are and I think um, not huge money really they were when they, when they first come out though I remember the big bucks but everybody wanted that dual display that you know that ability to keep an eye on both bands and not sort of have to switch between the two bands or have to scan a whole stack of it this was a really nice way to go you could be scanning both VHF UHF um, at, uh, at you know one time and um, and quite capable of coming up with you know receive on both frequencies at the same time too so it was um, sort of probably annoying in that respect <laughs> anyway all right there you go I see ICOM 2730 that's the uh, part number for the, this thing and um, we'll get on to you if you know if it becomes available not sure yet but um, who knows uh, but um, might be huge bucks all right 73 is all cheers